Hello there, friends. So, I'm back behind the wheel and I'm on my way to Girona. Uh, yeah. I have my load and it's a straight load to the two stations, regular stations in Girona or Corona as uh, American would say it. Uh, or at least the Americans I know how they have pronounced the name, the city name uh, Kiruno. <laughs> and now I'm gonna go up there and <coughs> on the way I'm gonna take a 15 minute break approximately well, a 15 minute break, kind of exactly. <coughs> at uh, uh, at um, near Les Paul, where I was uh, this Saturday. Yeah, last Saturday I was there. And, uh, and I did fill up the station over there with diesel. Because they have a truck diesel pump at this uh, restaurant and bar. Yeah, so, uh, come on, don't, don't screw with me. No, oh, come on. Okay, so every time I'm using the indicators and I want to go left, no, I mean right. Uh, the computer here in the truck it's uh, shifting over to a camera which is mounted uh, on the right side on the passenger side a camera to show that dead dead angle or dead view or whatever it's called uh, dead zone I don't really know what it's called but it's showing me what is pretty much right by my side if there is a car uh, right by the side of the truck itself that I can see in the mirrors uh, yeah it's uh, not working perfectly <laughs> so yeah the time is quite much for me to actually start this trip. I should have actually been starting this trip like three, two hours ago. Normally I would have done that. There's the deal. I have a problem with the tag on the depot when I'm filling up the truck. I can't do it with my code. And apparently, I, I've been talking to the people at the depot, that's why I've been starting so late. I started at 7 a.m. Uh, and it was because I, it is an office hour and I wanted to talk directly before I'm starting this trip. I wanted to uh, check with them what is wrong with my code to the depot so I can fill up with my code and not with a colleague's code and after a couple of tries and checking what might be wrong the problem is that the database memory in the in the system is full yeah they can't have any more drivers uh, or a unique IP, uh, ID IDs in the system does it, it's full it's kind of bad that the system is not saying telling them on the computer screen that the memory is full when they try to, trying to add a new one but I don't know for some reason it doesn't say the memory is full so they will try to fix it as soon as possible uh, because they don't know and I don't know when I'm gonna be driving next time but, but as long as my as 
as long as my ID doesn't work and I'm uh, I'm gonna be driving that day they told me that you, you know I'm free to use any code that I know works at the depot as long as as, as it is a colleague of course <laughs> oh my the hell is this now? You know, I'll see you guys later on the road because it's gonna be a little bit tight right now and I, and I really need to go concentrate on the road uh, because I'm gonna be most likely speeding. I'm not behind schedule more than like 20 minutes, but I, I really need to do this. I will see you guys in a sec or two. Soon. <laughs> so, I have just made my first and only turn on the E10 and still following E10. I didn't follow the E45 that is going on to Jelavada. I just turned to Kiruna uh, and following E10 up here. Uh, so, and I also did just put in my food container into the heater uh, heater box. And well, in approximately one hour from now, maybe more or less, I don't know, I will eat my lunch. I will take a 30 minute break because that is what I need before I'm actually entering into Kiruna. Hopefully this day will not take too long. I will not have too much problems with the trailer or the truck as I had uh, this Saturday when I was trying to release gasoline from the trailer. Holy crap. very deep hill going down and saw the speedometer raising quite heavily quite rapidly uh, let me fix the camera there we go so yeah actually I shouldn't be using my face camera I know some people might like it to have see my face at the same time I'm driving and see the dash camera which is a GoPro Hero 3 uh, you know people like to see it but here's the deal I might need to stop using the face camera while I'm driving because I can't control the camera I have as a face camera remotely I need to actually touch the camera spin it around and fiddling with the buttons or actually it is a touch screen on the back side of it I need to press you know turn off the recording and everything if I turn it and press the screen but start recording is no problem because I just need to start remotely the GoPro and then 
make sure that the cam uh, face camera is rigged up and ready to start record and just tell it record video and it will start recording uh, anyhow this road is called the death of road and the winter is coming or actually depending on how you see it it is actually winter right now in Sweden believe it or not by looking on the road but apparently if you ask the metro uh, metrologues or whatever they're called in English I don't know you know the people telling how the weather is and whatnot weather prognosis those people are saying it is winter not just because we are in normalized time or also known as winter time but we are actually oh crap the camera is not there we go maybe I don't know we'll see you later uh, Holy crap, it's going really heavy here. I, I'm weighing 60 ton quite exactly. So it's going really heavy here. Uh, come on, gear down. It's going 40 kilometers an hour uphill here. So yeah, I am really heavy. Oh my fucking god. I'm using a approximately 24 liters of diesel uh, <laughs> you serious by every 10 kilometers I'm using 24 25 liters of diesel holy fucking crap I am really heavy or this engine is real weak. I don't know. Depending on how you see it. So yeah. Uh, the reason why I started to re record with the face camera now as well, uh, even if I said just said that I might need to stop using it because I need to actually physically touch it and set it up and whatnot. Uh, every time uh, and I cannot have it in uh, record all the time I need to actually turn it off because otherwise the battery will drop like that and the memory in space as well is <laughs> uh, is because of this kind of road that's why I might need to stop uh, and what I will do instead is to mount my GoPro a little higher up on the dashboard so it will get a better noise um, better sound on what I'm saying you know, I can still start it remotely by my little remote quit where the hell did I put it? Oh, there it is. Uh, you know, just started using the remote control because I I can act, I when I started I do have both hands on the wheel and I am starting the camera the GoPro with the remote usually. Anyhow. Mount it up a little higher up on the dashboard so it picks up better sound quality on my voice. I can edit the sound of their, of their words, but you know, it is a lot more work. But hey, I'm doing it for fun and I'm doing this for you guys. Which is quite amazing that I have, uh, if I do remember right, I have 30 subscribers. And 
Yeah. I have a steady amount of views of my all my video clips, which is awesome. Except my gaming videos, which wasn't a huge success. Apparently, people didn't like those, especially the Duke Nukem Forever video. Yes, that was my phone. I got, uh, I did get an email right there. <laughs> uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I have seen the schedule for the next month. I am put up, uh, I am on the schedule uh, on one day. Now, we are three people on each planet, on each truck in town, in my town. Uh, and if you look at any other place in Sweden, they are like five people on each truck. Well, of course, they use, you know, stand-in uh, drivers that can come in and, you know, they don't need to put them on schedule. They are not working full-time at that trucking company, at this trucking company. They use them a lot to jump around between the trucks, but they are always on the schedule. Now, we are only six people in total signed up to drive in my hometown, in this, in our district. That means at least two of the drivers have a schedule on a 100, almost 180 hours on one month. One month, 180 hours. That is a lot for a driver. <laughs> uh, normally, you would have a schedule on around 160 hours. So I will try to deal around a little bit and see what the people, the bosses will say if, you know, they can fix me some more hours, you know, light it up for the rest of the drivers not not that i want to steal their hours and you know jeopardize their income but you know make it a little bit better for me at least because i'm not a full-time worker which means i don't have a steady income uh, i pretty much need to uh, you know push them a little bit and say, hey, I want more work, I want to work more, come on, give me a job. Uh, yeah. So hopefully, they will give me more work. I, I just hope so, at least. I don't know. And I need to talk about what is what they are planning on the schedule during uh, December, during Christmas and New Year week. You know, if I can take a couple of days there as well to work. Or if I need to go to the garbage truck and work there. I don't know. You know, I think I've been talking too long. Yes, I've been talking for 40 fucking minutes. See you guys later.
So, as you can see, it's pitch breaking black outside. It is dark. Uh, I don't know if you can, if you guys can see anything at all. <coughs> I have a hard time to see some stuff. And uh, anyhow, uh, time is quite much. Still to go uh, around 204 uh, 270 kilometers. I don't know what that is in miles because I suck on the conversation. No conversion over to miles per hour or miles or yards or whatnot. You know, I was born and raised with the metric system, so screw that other bullshit that is not, that is pretty much only Americans, and sometimes apparently British people seems to like using uh, the American model, but, and now, uh, as I said, as you can see, it is pitch black outside. I'm gonna dim down so I don't use all my high beams because I have a car up ahead and I don't want to blind him with my <coughs> sail lights in his back mirror. Uh, yeah, and the sail lights is on the roof, so. I'm only using <coughs> the original high beam lights in the bottom. Oh, look at that. Car passing me. Okay, I'll do that. Bye bye, car. Sucker. <sighs> and now. I don't really know what to say, but well, I'm just tired. I have, as I said, I have over 200 kilometers to drive, which is gonna take a couple of hours. Plus, I need to take a 30 minute break down the road because I have only two hours and 15 minutes. I've been driving off my time. Before I need to take a break again uh, and yeah just before I started to record this I actually had a 15 minutes break because I'm splitting my my 45 minutes of break time uh, rest time Ugh. yep 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 <coughs> What, oh, what, oh, oh. This day, it seems like I'm gonna be around 13 hours mark. And that is thir 13 hours, mind, uh, you know, not including uh, my rest times. So, yeah. I'm actually gonna be, have been working for oh shit long of time, and it's kind of obvious because not only did I have to start late, later than normal, so we can could fix my login tag for the depot, but also. We needed to, you know, uh, you know, that took, took like 45 minutes of my work time, which sucks. But then again, uh, 
I don't pretty much have any other time for, uh, you know, for the last couple of days when I'm actually going to be working and I thought that, well, well what the hell, I, nobody's going to have the truck after me today so I can start a little bit later, I can fix the tag, see if what the problem is, why it's not working and you know fix all of that myself I don't need anybody from the office to fix it for me you know our office not the depot office the depot office is supposed to actually fix it uh, so yeah uh, yeah I'll watch more Let's put on full lights, and then we have the zeal lights on, and now you should also see a lot more, a lot better. Uh, maybe not a lot, but at least something. And we are dimming that down, and we're dimming that down. So as you can see, I'm pretty much luring everybody that, ah, oh, he turned off the headlights, and then I'm turning off the real headlights. <laughs> or high beams, whatever they are called. I don't freaking know. I'm tired. Huh. So I'm gonna be home quite late, aren't I? Because the time is almost 7 p.m. And I have a drive time on around three hours left plus minus a couple of minutes and we're luring this one and we're turning it off <laughs> second light Biarch. Uh, that is the good part when you have High beams on the roof and high beams, you know, below the cabin. So you can turn off the high beams on the roof, and then later on turn off high beams, the original high beams on the truck. Awesome. That's what I love with. Next time is when I'm gonna be trucking or being behind the wheel. But hopefully it won't be too long till next time. According to the schedule, as I know it right now, next time it's gonna be pretty much the last couple of days in. November. So pretty much in one month from now. And I can't do that. I need to have a lot more time, a lot more hours. And actually a lot more hours this month, but I haven't got any. So I really need to find me a job or get me a job, but all the companies in the trucking business are so fucking... I don't know what the hell is going on with the trucking business. They really don't want to employ people just back and forward. And but hopefully I will manage to get a lot of hours next month because next month we are, as I said earlier, we are only six people on three, tr two trucks. 
so there there is a lot of hours for the two original you know employed people on each truck and me as a reserve have pretty much not no hours but we'll see maybe I get a full-time job later on because you know I'm not gonna say no to a trucking job at driving gasoline and diesel fuel no 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 fuel truck tank truck is it's a nice job Yes, it's horrible sometimes. For example, today at Kiruna, uh, there pretty much was a storm. Holy crap, the wind was unbelievable. I pretty much couldn't open the doors. Because it was so... Bang, the wind was terrible. Garbage cans, you know, heavy duty built and heavy of course as well uh, garbage cans flew all over the freaking place and posters and you know whatnot were flying all over the place and at one point I actually did think I actually did thought that even the flagpole or whatever it's called in English uh, that that actually would rip off and snap so yeah as I said the wind in Kiruna today was fucking terrible sorry for my French but that is what's happened and I'm sorry I didn't record it but yeah in that wind it wasn't time for having a GoPro all over the place. <laughs> and now, I will see you guys later on the road. I'm gonna be, try to do this. And yes, as you see right now, <coughs> as the angle on the GoPro is a little different. Uh, it is actually, almost up at the steering wheel almost at least so it is a little bit closer to me which means I have you know you are gonna be able to hear me a lot better <coughs> through the GoPro microphone uh, and not only that uh, you know I can do it hands-free and because it's so dark outside, it's no idea having a face camera because if I have a face camera right now, I need to have the lights in the cabin on and that, that will actually lower my ability to see what is going out on outside the truck. The darkness. So yeah, see you later on the road. Okay, so, uh, accident with a reindeer, wild accident, uh, apparently the father and the child that was in the, in the car is fine. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, you, you 
not gonna be able to see it, but on that front end, oh, yeah, maybe you can see it. Yeah, that front end is destroyed. There's a lot of glass all over the place and whatnot. <laughs> From the headlights and plastic parts and whatnot. A lot of stuff going on and Okay, anyhow, seemed like uh, they did good. Uh, they were fine, a little bit, and you know, wondering what, you know, the kid was wondering what was going on, and he seems alright. He didn't seem to be like in a shock or something like that. <laughs> But, yeah. Uh, yeah, I did warn him a little bit that up ahead it's going to be a little bit... be a car accident. I'm going to be warning this guy as well. <laughs> we have a difference of signs when there is a car accident up ahead and whatnot. What is going on on the roads. Uh, I don't know if it's general for all, all countries, but at least here. That is how we do it. As you can see, I had a couple of cars behind me as well. I have my working jacket on. Why do I have my working jacket on still? Uh. be keep on driving uh, hopefully not another accident you see this is the road of death now this is the good part of the e10 but accidents they happen every day and yeah now you were able to actually see um, accident where it's happened and whatnot <coughs> uh, you didn't see the accident by itself but you did see that there was a car smashed to pieces you know the engine nothing left front front spoiler the hood everything gone totally destroyed and the reindeer, uh, it was dead, but at least the people in the vehicle is fine. Uh, you know, when, when there is a small child involved, uh, that is not a fun thing. Now, see you guys later on the road. Okay, so I'm back in town. I'm back in my town. And uh, I'm, I'm really stressed right now. Because according to my navigation system, I'm going to be at the office in 26, 27 minutes. <coughs> By law. <coughs> By law, I need to be in the office right at that time when it's coming to drive time, driving time. Uh, 
So when I hit around uh, 9 hours and 59 minutes on the drive time, I'm gonna stop the truck and I will print out a little piece of paper, type on it that I'm so close to the office, I'm, I'm literally one or two minutes, uh, tops five minutes away, I wanna sleep at home. Plus, I can't stop the truck basically nowhere right now. There's basically no location where I can actually stop the truck. Um, so, yeah, I'm, I'm, however, however you are looking at it, I'm kind of screwed. Because I need to be at the office right fucking now. And yes, I'm cutting through the roundabout. And I'm accelerating heavily and whatnot. And the tank is gonna be half full. And the colleague who's taking over the truck tomorrow is gonna be pissed because I haven't refueled the truck. But I need to. Uh, leave a piece of paper to him, a little note saying sorry I didn't refill the truck, but I was literally on the freaking minute back to the office. I had no time to stop and refueling the truck. And now it's only about drive driving time um, because working hours it's fine it, it's no problem working hours I'm good yeah I'm literally less than 15 minutes away I'm like 13 minutes away in drive time if I have green lights and all that. Holy crap, that was a close one. And I'm gonna be cutting over to this. So yeah. Uh, I really, whew, this is so stressful right now. Uh, I don't know if I showed you guys, but there was an uh, uh, accident uh, on the way back, uh, back from Kiruna. <laughs> and, you know, I did stop there and I help the people and you know I had to drive really slowly when I got there and whatnot uh, so yeah at least they were fine hopefully they didn't lie about that uh, but working hours is fine by me my biggest prop issue is drive time. I need to have more drive time. Or actually I can't get more drive time. I need less. I, I, oof, it, it is 
pedal to the metal right now. Anybody is slower than me, fuck off. Get out of my way. I want to get to the office right freaking now. Just need to take it easy over this bump because it's really, really bumpy. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. oh yeah. And now I will see you guys in my next video. Thanks for stopping by. Thanks for all the support, even if, you know, in a lot of people's eyes, I don't get much support. But the support I'm getting, it's just, I'm grateful to have you guys over here. So yeah, give me a thumbs up if you like this video. Give me a thumbs down if you, if you don't like it. Please leave a comment as well. And as I said, see you guys in my next video.